What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to my NFL regular season predictions. Yes, fellas, we are back. The 2020 season is now upon us. I can't believe we're here. I almost forgot about this series, man. I'm not gonna lie. I remembered it last minute, and I was like, you know, of course I gotta bring this series back for you guys and actually finish it this year, as long as, you know, the NFL season also does finish out, man. I'm sure a lot of us probably weren't even expecting week one to happen, but uh, we're here, man. Football season, it's in full swing, and, you know, let's hopefully have our fingers crossed, and, uh, you know, like I said, let's hope that we actually have a full season of football now i am going to be uploading these videos on saturdays this year decided to switch things up because uh i have different plans for uh, what i'm going to be uploading on sundays you guys will have to you'll have to wait and see with that for tomorrow's video but i guess without further ado man we got nothing left to talk about except for week one of the 2020 season man now it is friday as i am recording this so obviously texans and chiefs just did just play it last night and i'm not gonna lie i don't have my usual you know tweet on screen to show you guys who i uh, i picked to win that game i'm not gonna do that this year i mean one i don't really have anybody that like follows me on twitter anyway so there's no point and really the only reason i did it is just so i had proof to show you guys who i predicted for the game which i'm just you know i'm gonna tell you guys who i picked for the thursday night game once we were in this video and whether you guys want to believe me or not honestly i really could not care less so anyways Moving forward with the Thursday night game, obviously kickoff of the year, we had the Texans going to take on the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs, and obviously I'm going to be picking the Super Bowl champs, man, to win the game, defend their home turf, first game of the season, they had fans there, I mean, it was a no-brainer to pick the Chiefs, I was streaming while this game was playing, so I was, you know, paying half attention to it, but honestly, it didn't seem like it was a, a very super exciting first game of the season, which, you know, I guess makes a lot of sense because none of these guys, it's their first game, man, there's no preseason, so it's going to be a, a pretty interesting season, man nonetheless um but yes obviously i am going to be picking the chiefs to win this game and they did end up winning it so uh starting off the year you know on the right foot you know i always feel like week one every year of making these predictions is the scariest because it's like a, a ton of these teams have a lot of new faces on the roster man and we've never seen these guys play so it's really hard to make a prediction on how you think these guys are going to play when you know uh, there's a lot of roster changes so it's uh, i'm pretty much you know basing my my guesses off of last year's performance you know how these teams were so it's uh, it's always interesting you know going into week one with our predictions like this but anyways obviously as you guys know week one every single year there's always a ton of divisional matchups which i uh i don't know if i really like i, I don't like starting off the year against the division opponent because because I feel like, you know, we really hate each other. That's across all divisions in the NFL. But uh, anyways, first game of our Sunday on the list, we've got the Philadelphia Eagles going against the Washington football team. I just, I, I'm never going to get over that, man. It's just, it's so funny. They really couldn't just think of a name instead of football team. I, I it's, it's crazy, bro. Anyways, I'm going to be picking the Eagles to win this game. No brainer. I mean, I'm sorry if there's any Washington fans out there, man, but... I just feel like you guys are they're, they're gonna be like you know a top three pick in the draft let's just leave it at that I, I don't really have a whole lot of high hopes for the football team this season so week one yes I'm gonna be easily picking the Eagles here again going off of what I just said 30 seconds ago fellas there's a lot of new faces on a lot of new teams this year and we've got our first one right here the a rookie quarterback for the Dolphins and Cam Newton in his new system first year with the Patriots I'm, I'm actually kind of excited man like obviously every year everyone hates the Patriots because of Tom Brady but it's like I'm almost like kind of rooting for him a little bit, man, because I, I like Cam Newton. I don't know. I, I want to see him have a bounce back year and actually do decent for the, the Patriots, which kind of sucks to say because it's New England. But I, I think I am going to have to go with the Patriots, man. I think Cam's going to come out of the year strong. It is a home game for New England, and I just feel like, you know, first game on a new team, I, I feel like he doesn't really want to lose this game. So I I'm, I'm going to go with the I'm going to go with Cam Newton, you know, the veteran as opposed to the rookie in this situation. I, I think Cam's going to get it done. See, now this game is like a 50-50. The Packers, Vikings, the rivalry these two have, I feel like it's always a close game between the two, and it is, it's pretty hard to, to pick which ones are going to come out on top in this situation because, like I said, it's always so close. It's 50-50, and I'm just going to roll the dice with the Packers, man. You, you guys know I favor them a lot. It's honestly because, you know, Aaron Rodgers, man. I'm, how can you bet against Aaron Rodgers? But first game of the season, I know the Vikings had, a, I believe, a few players opt out, and, you know, they definitely have, you know, lost to Fon Diggs and all that. I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to go with Aaron Rodgers and the Packers for this one. Man, Phillip Rivers, our first time seeing this man in a new uniform as well. Now playing for the Indianapolis Colts. They are going to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars, their division rival. 
and uh, for this game you know I, I think i've just got to go with indie just based off of the fact that they have more talent on their roster right now i mean it's it's very hard to pick the jaguars because i don't know what they're doing over there man they're trading every single one of their star players that have talent it's just like over the past couple of years they had something going and they just said hey we want to start over i feel like i feel like that's what they've done i, I don't know what's going on but uh, again like i said just based off of the current talent that's on the roster i, I feel like we have to pick indie here it seems that all of the NFC North teams are going to be playing each other in week number one as we now have the Chicago Bears going to take on the Detroit Lions. And I believe for this game, I'm going to side with Detroit, man. I'm going to pick up the Lions. I feel like Adrian Peterson, honestly, that was a great pickup for Detroit, man. I think he's going to put in some work for him this season. But aside from that... I just cannot pick the Bears until I see Mitchell Trubisky not look like a noodle arm old man out there and can actually have an offense. I mean, Chicago, man, if they don't get things turned around this year with their offense, I, I don't know, man. They, they got some problems. They need to get rid of Mitchell. But I, I just I cannot pick the Bears until I see that their offense is capable of actually doing something this year. I feel like this year I'm definitely going to slip up a few times and say Oakland Raiders, but we now have ourselves the Las Vegas Raiders going to take on the Carolina Panthers. And once again, a new quarterback on a new team, Teddy Bridgewater, playing for Carolina this year, man. That's going to be interesting to see. And for this game... I feel like I kind of want to side with the Panthers and I you know I feel like Christian McCaffrey we all know how he plays football man I feel like it is possible that he's going to carry the team and you'll get all the points to be able to outscore the Raiders but something's just telling me to pick Las Vegas man I don't know Josh Jacobs obviously was great last year going into his second year we should see something out of him Carolina lost a lot of players I mean Luke Keekley retiring that's huge for that defense and honestly I don't really know what other big names they've got left on the defense you know the Raiders got some other rookies with Henry obviously Derek Carr you, you know he's he's Derek Derek Carr but but honestly for this game I, I feel like I've got to go with Las Vegas the new team the rest of the AFC East seems like they are going to be battling out each other as well we've got the New York Jets going to take on the Buffalo Bills and uh, this is going to be kind of an easy one for me, man. Definitely going to be picking Buffalo in this one. Josh Allen, his second year last year, he looked solid, man. Got him to the playoffs. I honestly think he's going to be a, a great a franchise QB for the Bills for, you know, a good while at least. And obviously, you know, they got him Stephon Diggs this offseason. That's a giant help for him. And the defense is obviously, that's a big thing for Buffalo as well. I feel like they're becoming one of the top defenses in the league, you know, every single year. They're getting better and better. And obviously, we, we all know the Jets, man. They're just, they've, they've, they've got their own issues over there. But for this game, I I feel like it's definitely going to be Bills coming out on top. Oh boy, and the game that I was waiting to get to, man, the Cleveland Browns coming to take on my Baltimore Ravens, man. And honestly, I don't really even have to tell you guys my pick here. You should know at this point, okay? But uh, going off of what I was saying earlier, man, I really don't like starting off the year week one going against division opponents, man. I don't know. It just seems like those games, the rivalries, you play each other tougher. You really want to, you don't want to lose, man. You play those games tough. They're hard hitting and whatnot. And uh, it's just, it's something that irks me about that, man. I hate division games week one, but you know, I'm excited. My, my team, they only got better. They're, they're going to crush the Browns. Honestly, I don't see us losing this game at all. I feel like it's, it's it might be a blowout, but I, I'm excited, man. I just, I cannot wait to watch my Ravens play again. Next up, we've got the Battle of the Birds, as they're calling it, the Seattle Seahawks going to take on the Atlanta Falcons for the first game of the season. And I'm excited to watch this one, man, for sure. I think it's going to be a great game. But it's one that I feel like could go either way. I'm not very confident in which team I'm going to pick. I really feel like either team could come out and get the victory in this one. So I feel like me, it's just flipping a coin when I'm picking this game. And I'm, I'm going to roll with the Seahawks, man, just because of the fact that, you know, they've got Russell Wilson. We all know what he can do. But also because, you know, I think it's going to be interesting to see Todd Gurley, his first, his first game as a, a Falcon on a new team. But you got to think back to you know when Todd Gurley was on the Rams the Seahawks have seen this guy twice a year every year since he's been in the league so they're used to playing against him they, they know how to defend Todd Gurley I feel like so I feel like that could you know shut down a big part of their offense for sure so I don't know man like I said it could go either way I'm going to be picking the Seahawks Another game with two new faces at both quarterback positions, man. We've got the LA Chargers going to take on the Cincinnati Bengals, man. Number one pick, Joe Burrow defending the home's turf here. It's going to be interesting to see, man, how the rookie's going to do first game of the season on his new team. And then as well as on the other side, we've got Tyrod Taylor being named the starter for the Chargers, man, which I really don't agree with, man. I, I never understood why would you draft a rookie quarterback in the situation that you're in and not start him. Like Tyrod Taylor, you know, he's been bouncing around the league for a while now. And I just feel like if you're going to draft a rookie, if you're going to make him your franchise QB for the future, 
you got to give them experience. You just got to put them in there from the jump, man. You shouldn't expect to win the division having a quarterback like that, I feel like. And I just think they should be putting him in to get the experience. But for the outcome of this game, though, man, it's going to be tough. I think I'm still going to have to side with the Chargers, though. I'm, I don't know. I feel like this could be a very low-scoring game. I don't think either of the quarterbacks or either of the teams are going to play, like, you know, really good. I don't think Joe Burrow is going to come out and be like, hey, five, six touchdowns and all that. I think it's not going to be a, a crazy exciting game, but I'm just going to go with the Chargers. Arizona Cardinals now with DeAndre Hopkins at wide receiver. That's going to be crazy to see this year, man. Going against the defending NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. I think this should be a good game, man. Obviously, they're used to playing each other. Division rivals here. I feel like they always play each other tough regardless of what their records are. But uh, for the first game of the season, man, I feel like I just got to pick the home game or the home team in this situation since they are division opponents man he obviously like i said it's going to be a good one i feel like could be a close game but the team that comes out on top i feel like should be san francisco and oh my god let me tell you guys how excited i am for this man thank you to tom brady for going to the buccaneers so we get to watch two goats go at it twice a year man i mean you know fingers crossed as well these guys both play like at least one more year so we can get a couple more matchups out of them but getting to watch two goats battle it out twice a year it's going to be amazing, man. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers going against Drew Brees and his New Orleans Saints. I can't wait to watch this battle, man. But for the who I'm picking for this game, man, it's another one. It's going either way. It's 50-50, but I'm just going to have to pick the Saints just off of the sole purpose that it's Tom Brady and a new team, man. I feel like we've never seen him play a single snap in a different uniform besides the Patriots. So I feel like it's kind of hard just on that fact alone to try and pick him to win this game and beat the Saints with, you know, Drew Brees a home game for them a team that is just so used to dominating and winning a lot of games I feel like it's going to be hard for Tom Brady brand new team going into New Orleans like that and uh, winning the first game here against Drew Brees and finally, we have now made it to our prime time games of the week, starting with Sunday Night Football. The Dallas Cowboys going to take on the LA Rams in their new stadium, which I'm excited to see that, man. I don't know if you guys seen some pictures of it, but that stadium looks incredible. It really does. It, it's absolutely insane. But for this game, it's a, it's a tough call, man, for sure. I mean, I feel like the Cowboys are very capable of coming out on top, but I feel like the Rams, I don't know. I feel like they might surprise us this year. I feel like they might have improved. Obviously, they had to move on from Todd Gurley and you know, let's hope that Jared Goff actually developed a little bit further as a passer because I feel like, you know, with those receivers, man, I feel like they could really get something going with that offense. Obviously, we know the defense has been solid for them as well, but I'm just going to have to go with the Rams, man, defending, you know, their home stadium first game in the new stadium. I feel like it wouldn't be a very good look to lose that game in prime time. And of course, we have two Monday night footballs every year to start off week number one. And our first one is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers going to take on the New York Giants. Now, obviously, as you guys know, being a Ravens fan, I don't like the Steelers. I don't like picking them ever, but I'm still smart, okay? I'm not stupid. I'm not going to, you know, pick a bad team to win, you know, obviously when Pittsburgh is going to be capable of uh, coming out with a win in this situation. You know, as much as I hate to say it, I am going to be picking the Steelers to win this game, man. But the Giants, I just, they're again, another one of those teams where I feel like they really just have not improved from the last season. They really didn't get anybody that really stands out that I feel like they can make a big impact for them. And Steelers, I feel like, you know, they have. They got Big Ben back, which is just, that's a giant thing right there. So Pittsburgh, I think they're going to get the win here. And last but not least, we've got the Tennessee Titans going to take on the Denver Broncos. And I just want to say this, man, for starters, I feel for you Broncos fans, man. I mean, to have Von Miller already go out at the start of the year, it seems like Denver is getting hit with the injury bug, which just is, is terrible to see. You never want to see a guy like Von Miller go out for the whole season, man, and especially before he even gets to play. It's just, it's killer, man. Cortland Sutton got banged up in practice this week as well. I mean, you, you just really hate to see it. But nonetheless, even after all of that, what I just said, I, I'm still going to be going Going with Denver to win this game, man. I think they'll defend home turf for the first game of the season. I'm excited to see Drew Locke, man. I've got some hopes for him. Hopefully, he'll be able to flourish, you know, being the starter for a full year and having that whole offseason with, uh, you know, knowing he's going to be the guy. But I just feel like Tennessee is overhyped, man. I'm sorry. I, they're not that good, in my opinion. I mean, they've got Ryan Tannehill at quarterback, for God's sakes. I mean, let's not remember who, how he started at the start of his career with Miami. But uh, we all know that Derrick Henry carries that team, man. Uh, there's nothing to it. I mean, the defense, they just got, you know, they had a little spark last season to help push them to the playoffs. But I just, I don't think they're the team that everybody thinks they are. I, I don't know. But I am going to be picking Denver to win this one. 
And that is going to do it for my predictions for week one of the season, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It feels good to be back. It really is a lot of fun just to sit down here and talk about football and discuss each game, go back and forth on, you know, deciding on who I think is going to come out on top of these matchups. I, I really missed it. It's a, it's a lot of fun to do this series for sure. But of course, I am going to be doing the same as I've done in the past. We are going to be matching my predictions up against Madden 21 and seeing uh, who the better predictor is on uh, when it comes to NFL games. But uh, I am going to be doing it a little bit different this year man i'm just gonna you know simulate the games and i'm gonna show on screen all of the teams that ea picked uh, instead of you know dragging out an extra minute for you guys because you, you, if you guys want to see it you can pause the video and, and see who they chose to win the games because like i said there's no need to drag out the video for an extra minute but uh i'm still going to put on screen here as you guys are obviously seeing their, their choices already but afterwards i'll show you uh, in the connected franchise i didn't force the win you know none of that nonsense and i, I just simulated to see who they think was going to win the games but anyways that is going to do it for me for this one you guys i hope you all enjoyed again like i did say man i'm so glad football is back it's a great time of the year man we number one i hope all of you enjoy some football man i'm so glad the season is here let's hope that we get a full 17 weeks of football and a super bowl at the end of the year but anyways you guys once again i hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to put a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i will catch you all in the next one take it easy guys peace out